ग्राम्स maybe the answer is in kg maybe the answer given is in grams um there will be a question given in your caps exam and there will be four answers a b c d keep an eye on the units this is a common thing thing where examiner will get you confused they will be talking about kgs all along the question and maybe in the answer they will be talking about grams so this is a thing we will practice it and this uh, this takes me to my next point next point is to read the question very carefully if we miscalculate in reading the question then we will do wrong wrong calculation right we can go on a wrong approach of solving that question so we should keep an eye on the units and we should be able to understand the question so these are the two golden rules that we are going to follow here Uh, throughout our 20 days challenge and throughout our preparation and in our caps examination today we will learn unit conversion and moles formula the main topic is unit conversion and there is a simple formula for moles given in this chapter the use of this formula is um, applicable later in chapter 9 milli moles milli equivalents and milli osmoles but we will see it it's a very simple one so let's start with the unit conversions this is our main topic today this is the table for unit conversion i want you to understand it because we will be using it a lot of times in all the calculations almost all the calculations we will be using this unit conversion thing so in in this apec book they have uh, separated it for example first uh, they will talk about the mass the gram kgs then they will talk about the liters the liquids then they talk about the meters and then the moles millimole micromole i have combined it into a single table this is it and this is the table i want you to write with me i hope you are all here with a paper and pencil in your hand so this is a unit let me explain it to you Uh, what it is this is a thing this is at the main unit this is the main unit and then if we go up we add the word kilo if we go down we add the word milli micro nano and pico <clears throat> milli micro nano and pico these are the units we will be facing most milli and micro this nano pico is also okay if they give it to you you know where you are standing so i want you to memorize this we know this kilo thing okay we go one level up it's a kilo thing we go down to this main unit we go into milli micro nano pico milli micro nano pico i want you to say with me just keep your microphones muted and say with me milli micro nano pico what's going to happen is sometime you may be got confused with these two things like nano comes first or pico comes first so make it sync milli micro nano pico milli micro nano pico milli micro nano pico write it down on your registers a few times milli micro nano pico milli micro nano pico small things but they will make a difference at a time when required milli micro nano pico so first of all the line goes with the grammage so we go from gram we go one step up kilogram down milli micro nano pico with liters same milli micro nano pico with uh, the distance we go up kilometers we go down milli micro nano and pico same with the moles milli micro nano and pico i have not written it but it's there milli micro nano and pico for equivalents what is what are the equivalents uh, we are going to face it in chapter 9 moles milli equivalents milli osmoles even with milli osmoles goes with goes the same thing milli micro nano pico so this is the standard <clears throat> standard system 
milli micro nano pico so i want to uh, hear it from everybody open up your microphones and start saying everyone everyone at once just do it i'm listening say it be an active participant there are sessions Maybe that i, I conduct that. where people don't participate and it's okay but this is a different session i can't hear it say it people milli micro nano pico 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 that's that's enough thank you everyone take it a centimeter nahi aayega yeah we'll see about that we will see about that we are talking about 1000 difference okay one thing there are sessions where it's not necessary for everyone to participate but this is a different thing so i want everyone to participate when i say so so now in this table we are talking about a difference of 1000 if we go down we divide it we multiply it by 1000 we will see about multiplication and division just listen that there is a difference of 1000 in every step we go down we uh, multiply it in 1 gram there are 1000 mg in 1 mg there are 1000 micrograms if we go up the same way this table works this way there is one exception for the meter uh, there are actually a few exceptions we will see another one in the file but the first one here is the meter in a meter there are 100 cm in 1 meter there are 100 cm this is an exception rest the table is okay yes someone is speaking about this this uh, meter thing or or another thing okay we'll see another thing i was just asking about the centimeter because i couldn't see the centimeter in the table now it's clear sir thank you Yes, centimeter is different. There are two point five centimeters in one inch. So this is a basic conversion. We'll see when we will get there. Uh, for now, just focus on this table. So this is with this exception, with one meter is equal to one hundred centimeter. Inch is another thing, uh, but we don't use it much in the calculations. So. uh when we go down when we go down this table we multiply it by 1000 for example if we have to convert this gram into milligram we share with you if we have to convert um 1 gram into how much milligram this is going to be 1 gram multiply by 1000 so multiply it by 1000 1 into 1000 is equal to 1000 mg if you go if you have to go down two steps just multiply it with for example we have to go from gram to microgram no don't worry 1 gram is equal to 1 multiply by 1000 again multiply it by 000 add it in your calculator and we will get the answer if we have to go down two steps then twice multiply it by 000000 you will get the answer This concept is clear. This is a pretty basic concept. Everyone should have it. Not clear to anyone. Or and if we have to move upwards, we divide. Generally, we have to move one step. Means from gram to milligram, or from milligram to gram. These are the two basic, uh, the two basic unit conversions. But if we have to go multiple, multiple steps, we can simply do one into, for example, uh, doing this one thousand. we know that this is going to, uh, one step if we have to go one more step we again have to multiply add zeros 0 0 0 and this is going to be our answer or you have you can again multiply it by 1000 1 multiply by 1000 is equal to multiply by again by 1000 so we are now one step two step down at once
Okay, if we go from uh, uh, downward to upward direction, we will divide it. For example, we have to go from milligram to gram, we will divide it. We want to try and admit it. So this concept is clear to everyone. We should not waste time here if everybody already know this, how to divide okay. and multiply. This clear. Yes. Anybody? Yes, sir. Anybody? Clear. Okay, perfect. Let's move forward. It's a... Uh... Okay, we will move forward with uh, a very little small next concept. Temperature. Uh, yes, temperature conversion. Uh, there is a table of temperature conversion given at the end of this uh, first chapter of ours. What you have to do is to, I have not found it useful in caps, but um, there can be a question about this. And this is very easy. What you have to do is to just memorize a few, few values here. For example, we see there is this 32 and 5 by 9 thing. So this 32 will come here, 32. We do not have to memorize a lot of digits. Okay, the same digits come in almost all the formulas. 32, 32, 5 by 9, 9 by 5, 5 by 9. You just uh, memorize it. I'm not going into the details. This is actually the opposite. Uh, these two formulas are opposite from Fahrenheit to degree centigrade, from degree centigrade to Fahrenheit. This is just a my formula manipulation. And then you memorize this. This is uh, just a thing that you should know, but this is not going to be utilized in our CAPS, uh, CAPS calculation just once in, in later chapter. And that's not uh, an important topic as well. So I want you to write it down uh, in your homework five times, just memorize it and then write it down five times. It's sufficient. And before going to your CAPS exam, you just, um, just to revise it in your mind. Uh, a pharmacist should know the the temperature conversion, but I have not seen any question in my caps or anyone's exam like this. Okay, we will move forward. Sir, one minute, sir, please. Yes, yes. Is it uh, some question? No, I'm just noting down. I think okay, it's, it's the there. It, it is there. <clears throat> it is there in the first chapter. I'll, I'll give you this file. So time is short. We are moving forward. Now, another important thing is the conversion between pound and one kg. This is a very simple formula that we know one kg is equal to 2.2 .2 pound and one pound is equal to 0 0.45. Uh, mute yourself, please. One kg is equal to 2.2 .2 pound and one pound is equal to 454 kg. But how to apply it? I'll show you how to apply it. This is a... Uh, a very simple thing, but sometimes we get stuck to it. If we have to convert five kgs into pounds, how will we do it? And if we have to convert five pounds to kgs, how will we do it? I get stuck myself um, for a few minutes. So that's why I'm elaborating this way for you. So if we convert, have to convert five kg into pound, we have to write the equation like this. Five kg is equal to now five multiplied by this value, 2.2. 2.2 and 5 kg to L to kg, this will go like this 5 multiply by 0 0.454. It will give you the answer. So, this is the way you will quickly move around from one unit to another kg to pound. This much kg you have to convert just 5 multiply by 2.2. Okay, 5 pounds into kgs, 5 multiply by 0 0.454. In caps, time management is everything. So we need to <clears throat> develop our shortcuts. Instead of doing uh, long things, you can just simply write this down directly on your calculators without writing in your writing it on your notepads. Five multiplied by two point two. That much pounds are going on your notepad. Notepad. Then um, something that you can skip 
on your notepad, you should skip. Write it down directly on your calculator and then uh, utilize it on your notepad in the rest of the calculation. This is clear to everyone. Any question? Yes, sir, uh, clear. Do they give any kind of a rough sheet or rough paper in the exam? Yes, for yes, there is a, a full copy they will give you. Uh, it will be plenty for you to take notes. And scientific calculators are allowed, right? Yes, scientific calculators are allowed. And another point, a very good point, um, is this that you should be practicing all of this calculation from now on on your own uh, a scientific calculator so that you will get used to it. If you continue doing this on your mobile phone, um, someday you have to shift to that scientific calculator. So I recommend that you buy it as soon as possible, arrange it and start doing the calculations right on that so that your hand will be set. Okay. So your hand gets set on the scientific calculator. All right, the next Okay, we are going to skip it now. All right. Now it is your homework for, uh, this is a actually very, very basic thing. So I will not go through the all of these questions. Uh, to give you some burden, 50% of your part, uh, you have to do all of these questions on your notepad and then send me the screenshot. One thing I will tell you, do not get confused with this minus three or minus four signs. They are nothing uh, easy to get confused with in this, but you do it your way. It's not necessary for you to write down this minus three thing. You can simply write it down. What is this minus thing? 10 to power to three means uh, right now here is, okay. yeah, okay. no, no, 10 to power minus three. Uh, yeah, 1000. And minus 3 means? 0. 0. 0. 1. Uh, divide 1 by 1000. Divided by 1000. Yes. Point double zero. Point zero zero. Uh, 1 by 1000. Uh, like point uh, zero zero 001. Yeah, point this, zero is, zero this is You're the natural. You're saying that we should do the APEC question uh, for chapter number 1, complete for homework. Yeah, complete it. Okay, this is the point zero in natural equation. So if we add 10 to power three, we means that we are um, going this way, one, two, three. If there is minus three, we are going one, two, three. I want you to clear this concept at your own by playing on the calculator or uh, if you have any question, then you can ask in group, but I think this is a pretty basic thing. Everyone would know it. So time is short. I am skipping this part. I, we have done all of these questions, these all these tables uh, in this first chapter of APEC. So I want you to write this down. Everyone, every question, do not miss anything. Just think of it as your homework. So we will come with, uh, we will come up with this formula now of moles. This is a very simple formula and I want you to do it the easy way, not the way it is written there because it will confuse. One thing is that you do not have to impress your examiner that you know how to solve it. So you make things to your favor. Instead of writing this down, you just memorize it this way. Mole is equal to mass in grams because the mass here is always in gram and divided by molecular weight. You make it your own way to just memorize it this way, right? The moles is equal to mass by molecular weight. Mass is it always in gram. So instead of writing this, so just, just go with the gram per molecular weight. Right? Gram, moles is equal to gram by molecular weight. Moles is equal to gram by molecular weight. So this is a shortcut. So as this is also a unit, mole is also a unit. If we go with millimole, then we can simply shift, shift from uh, the gram level to milligram level because we are shifting on both sides to the milli level. So we will utilize this technique later. So what we can do is to we can convert both sides into milli divided by molecular weight. Now we are playing at the level of milli in moles. This is very important concept. I want you to take it because once we go into the moles chapter, there will be a lot more to cover. So we can play in the mole mole level in the in, in our table.
interest table, we can play on the mole level. The formula given here is written at this level moles. We can also come into moles, but we are not uh, uh, doing any trick. Actually, we have uh, we have converted both sides into milli, millimoles and milligram. So these two formulas down here, um, they are not important. You just memorize it yourself. I have not seen their utility here, but one thing, one point this formula is giving us is that moles are always, uh, sorry, concentration, when we talk about concentration in a liquid, moles are always in a liter, moles per liter. For example, you see in this picture, I have stated that we, uh, we, uh, we need this uh, salt and acid in terms of uh, moles. So we will take it as moles per liter. So this is a small concept for you to take from this formula that moles are, if we talk about concentration of moles, moles are in one liter. We talk about this much moles in one liter. So this is the thing for you to note it down because this is not in this chapter anywhere. So you note it down that concentration of moles are in liter. So this is a small thing and very small application in not very important topics. So do not give that much concentration, but you should know. All right, this, uh, the third formula is not important, but uh, you can memorize it just like the temperature formulas, you memorize it. All right, guys. Uh, and there is a one small uh, question here, and there is one small trick in it. They are talking about, now we will uh, try to focus on the question. How many moles of aspirin molds? right? Moles of aspirin is in 300 milligram of aspirin. So there is a discrepancy. Now they are talking about moles means they are standing at this level moles. And now the result they want, uh, the another thing they have given us the weight is in milligrams. So if we go with this formula, the upper one, so we should be in gram. So mole and gram millimole in milligram. So what we will do, we will convert uh, any one of these two uh, to another level. So that either we are in milli level or either we are in mole level. So let's uh, let's see that what is the answer given. For example, the answer is in mole. So we do not need to convert the mole into millimole and then back into mole. The easy way is to convert the milligram into gram level. So this is what they did. 300 into 10 to power minus three you don't do it this way. You just do it with your calculator. The easy way, uh, do not go into this minus thing. Just do 300 divided by 1000 is equal to 0 0.3. So you use 0 0.3 here. Um, so they have uh, molecular weight remains same. It's a standard molecular weight will always be given. This kind of thing. 